Hi, this is Barry with Barry's Workshop. In this video, I'm going to show you how I used grocery bags and epoxy to make micarta, which I'll later use for knife handles. Micarta is a composite product that's made from some kind of a resin, like fiberglass resin or epoxy, and some kind of a fiber to hold it together. In this case, I'm using regular grocery bags, uh, paper bags from the local grocery store. And this is the second least pleasant part of it, which was cutting them up. I cut them into squares about seven inches by seven inches, and I ended up using four bags and ended up with 80. And I measured before I added the resin just to kind of see if it uh, ended up at about the same thickness, and it was a pretty good indicator. However thick it was when it was compressed slightly together with those spring clamps was about how thick it ended up. And uh, don't do as I did here. Uh, put your gloves on before you mix the epoxy. I got this epoxy from US Composites. I know a lot of people use West Systems, um, a little cheap, and I really think uh, for, for everything I've needed it for, this has been plenty good. Easy to work with, it's got the pump bottles just like the West. This is the th third least pleasant part of it, which was mixing. This process is a lot like paper mache, except instead of using newspaper and flour, we're using epoxy resin and another material with uh, grocery bags. Uh, this was the number one most tedious part of the process. Um, I think I spent about 20 minutes doing this, 80 sheets. Um, this, this is thin epoxy, so it does pour and, and flow, but spreading it with the brush took some, took some time. So after about 80 layers, uh, use wax paper to prevent it sticking on everything around me. And then I've just got a couple of scraps of OSB that I used to help even the pressure. And uh, as they say, you can never have too many clamps. Now the curing time for epoxy varies with the type of epoxy and also the temperature. It was a pretty mild spring day. Um, I let it sit overnight and that was plenty enough time. I probably could have got away with sooner. And just pulled the boards apart. And uh, I know it doesn't look like much, but this is very hard, very sturdy. I'm going to post a separate video to show how I cut this into blanks and use them to replace the handles in some kitchen knives. So thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed watching me make Micarta. Take care.